Good Girl, a forbidden reverse harem collection standalone by Lisa Cullen, is an erotic romance novel that delves into the theme of forbidden desires, power dynamics, and untraditional relationships. The book captures the journey of a young woman named Grace, who becomes intimately involved with three men, each bringing something unique to her life and helping her explore different facets of her sexuality and personal desires. Grace is characterized as a quintessential good girl, someone who has always followed the rules and lived life by societal expectations. Her life takes an unexpected turn when she meets three captivating men, Ethan, Sean, and Tommy. Each of these men stands out with distinct personalities and traits that contribute to the allure they hold for Grace. While Ethan is the embodiment of competence and reassurance, Sean exudes an enigmatic charm that draws Grace towards him, and Tommy brings a playful and supportive nature to the mix. As Grace becomes more involved with each of these men, she wrestles with the internal conflict of societal norms versus her own pleasure and happiness. These relationships are taboo, not just because of the reverse harem dynamic, where one woman has multiple male partners, but also due to the power imbalances and the secret nature of their connections. The men are not only part of her life, but also hold significant positions that make these relationships frowned upon, challenging Grace's notions of morality and propriety. The attraction between Grace and her three men is palpable and electric. There are a series of erotic and passionate encounters that signify her sexual awakening and growing confidence in her desires. The novel takes the reader through an exploration of BDSM, dominance, and submission, gently pushing the boundaries of traditional love stories. Ethan, the first of the men, possesses an authoritative presence that instinctively draws Grace to him. His protective nature and desire to see Grace flourish in her newfound boldness become a source of immense emotional and physical comfort for her. Their connection symbolizes stability and the allure of a man who can provide both guidance and pleasure. Sean, on the other hand, is more of an enigma. His mysterious past and brooding intensity create an irresistible pull for Grace. The danger and excitement that Sean embodies challenge Grace's limits and introduce her to a side of herself that she didn't know existed. The chemistry between them is tinged with the thrill of the unknown, a stark contrast to the security that Ethan offers. Finally, Tommy's cheerful disposition and unwavering support play an essential role in Grace's journey. He injects humor and lightness into her life, balancing out the intense dynamics of her other relationships. Tommy demonstrates that love and affection can also be playful and nurturing, making him an indispensable part of this unconventional arrangement. As the storyline progresses, Grace must navigate the complexities of managing multiple relationships, each with its unique challenges and rewards. The men have to cope with their individual and collective jealousy, knowing that they share Grace's affection and physical intimacy. This situation demands a level of communication and understanding that goes beyond ordinary relationships. The characters are forced to question traditional monogamous structures and consider the possibility and practicality of a reverse harem setup where everyone is content and fulfilled. Throughout the book, the main theme centers on the concept of freedom versus societal expectations. Grace continually questions whether it is better to be deemed a good girl by society or to pursue the less conventional path that brings her personal happiness. Each encounter with Ethan, Sean, and Tommy acts as a catalyst for her self-discovery and acceptance of her multifaceted desires. The character development is as much about the individual growth of the men as it is about Grace's transformation. Ethan must learn to balance his need to be protective with respecting Grace's independence. Sean has to open up and let go of the aloofness that protects him from emotional vulnerability. Tommy finds himself deepening his understanding of love as more than just fun and support, recognizing the profound connection he shares with Grace. As Grace and her three lovers face social judgment, internal dilemmas, and the practical difficulties of an unconventional relationship, they find strength in their unity. The novel does not shy away from depicting the complexities and the potential pitfalls of their situation, including the necessity of clear boundaries, honest communication, and unwavering respect for each other's feelings. 
In the backdrop of their intensely romantic and sexual dynamics, the story also touches on issues such as consent, personal agency, and the different forms love can take. It questions the often rigid expectations of relationships and encourages readers to think about the liberating potential of embracing one's true desires, regardless of how they might be perceived by others. Good Girl, a forbidden reverse harem collection standalone, is a tale of self-exploration, lust, love, and the courage it takes to defy convention for personal fulfillment. It offers an insight into a woman's passionate journey of discovery as she learns to embrace her sexuality without shame or guilt, realizing that her value and identity are not tied to traditional norms. The novel provides an erotic escapade that is as much about the sensual experiences as it is about the emotional connections and the delicate balance required to maintain such a unique relationship structure. As the story concludes, Grace has come to terms with her relationships, each man recognizing the special place he holds in her life, and vice versa. The four of them forge a path that is right for them, regardless of outside opinions. The conclusion reinforces the message that genuine happiness often lies in the pursuit of one's own truth, and in this case, it is a truth that involves a deep and multifaceted love shared between one woman and three distinct men. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.